The first time was a gift for a friend. Very, very simple. Had a little uh, crank to it and a very simple little action of waving a hand. I knew instantly that it was going to be the start of something and to see it uh, working was fabulous. That was the beginning for me of, of making uh, automata. Yeah. When I come in here and open the door, turn on the radio, get dressed to, to work in here, time stops for me. But don't be mistaken thinking that I just do it from start to finish. There's so many uh, trial and error through the whole process. And if I draw it, say 100%, then uh, it only goes wrong half the time. But you just readjust, you know, you get it to a point and you uh, start taking new measurements and readjusting and uh, go off again on a different idea. So at the end, even I don't know how uh, I, I got to that conclusion. It was certainly not the one I started with. I, uh, I thought that I would have a small shop like this, but I'd be doing woodworking. You know, little pieces of furniture that uh, I never got a chance to make when I was running the business. But as I set this place up, I thought, you know, I've been doing this for 35 years. Why would I want to keep doing it? Metalworking had been a, an area of mystery to me. And all my first ones, the first three or four, were all wood. Then, as I needed more precise movements, then I started going into metal. When I'm doing the drawings, I identify what I need to do to make the movement. And once I've identified that, then I can go to the machines and then I can deal with the precision. And that's the part I really love, is the, is the precision of it, because if it isn't precise, it's just not going to work. The inspiration for all the earlier pieces were all from personal experience. So uh, my wife said once, uh, you're showing everybody, you know, what our life is like. The, the runner, the snorer, the golfer. So there, there is personal life in there, but uh, now it's probably every third piece or so. I have so many ideas that I want to try and each one of those generally creates more ideas. I want to 
keep pushing myself. I want to learn more and more mechanical movements to get these to do different human movements. That's what holds the most interest for me is when there is a, a real challenge. There's a movement. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't understand it really. Um, and that's what I like to work on. Of course, it keeps me awake at night, but that's okay. That's okay.